Hi, I'm Lee Partridge and welcome back to Cole UTV. Take two. Let's have another go at getting our season underway this evening as we travel to Cardiff in round one of the Caribou Cup. Cardiff City coming off the back of a good two-all draw away at Leeds at the weekend and uh, they will see it as unlucky not to take all three points of a late equaliser from Leeds. So it's going to be a tough test this evening, we know that, but we'll be hoping to cause an upset against the Bluebirds and get our name into the hat for the next round of this cup. Team news is out for this evening's game, so head across to our socials and our website to get all the up-to-date and latest team news. Saturday was unfortunately a washout against Swindon, as you well know, but with a month's rain falling in the four hours prior to kickoff, nothing could be done about that. But before we left the ground on Saturday, we have some we had some positive news in the form of Joe Taylor arriving on loan from Luton Town. He played a pivotal part in their promotion to the Premier League from the back end of last season. So it's good to have him here at the club. We'll hear from him shortly, but before we do that, we pop to the training ground to see him take part in his first training session at Florence Park. Joe, a very strange day for Colts United, first day of the season, the game being called off, but you must be pleased that uh, you've got your future for this season sorted out in signing for Colts United. Yeah, no, absolutely, yeah, but I'm, I'm buzzing to get this over the line. I think this season, for me, is just about game time and getting minutes, and then obviously not just showing Luton, but showing people, um, showing Colchester, showing people that watch League 2 that I can compete at this level. And of course, it, it was a, a, a mad kind of last couple of months of the season for you at Luton there. Uh, yeah, it must have been a real, really good uh, to be part of it, especially the game at Wembley. Yeah, no, absolutely. Obviously, being so young, I hadn't really had an experience like that before in my life. But no, Wembley was brilliant. It was. It's probably uh, an experience that I won't experience too many more times in my life. But no, I was, the day was perfect. It couldn't have gone any better. And obviously, uh, this move has come about, but how did you find out about it and how long have you, you thought there might be interest in a loan move? Well, to be honest, um, it all stemmed back. So I went, we went away with Luton to Slovenia and then we came back from that pre-season camp and obviously I, would, I just realised that potentially I wasn't going to get as much game time at Luton this year as I would have liked. So it was all about sitting down with a gaffer and sorting out a potential loan move. And I think... Um, Obviously, the gaffer here, Ben, he, he's he been on at Luton quite a few times about me. So I think it was the perfect match, really, because ge geographically it works out for me perfectly as well. And obviously, I like the way Ben plays and I like the vision that he has for the club. So, yeah, I'm just excited to get going. And that, it, that must be quite a draw as well, knowing that the manager and the head coach here, Ben, has asked about you in the past, uh, yeah. knowing that he, he likes what he sees of you as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's always reassuring, obviously, signing for a team where the gaffer's already shown interest in you. Obviously, it makes obviously it makes me feel proud, but obviously it also gives me a bit of a drive to obviously come in and obviously 
prove to the gaffer that I can do what he's after. So on a positive note, it means that you haven't missed a, a game because today's off, so you'll be uh, joining the training uh, from now on, hoping to, to be on the bus to Cardiff. Yeah, absolutely, that's the aim. Some good stuff in his first session there and always good to hear from the new arrivals. Uh, he'll be hoping he can hit the ground running this evening or Saturday against Bradford. Tickets for the Bradford game are available from the ticket office until Friday afternoon. That's here at the JobServe Community Stadium. And then from the day, they're available from the host. So uh, give the ticket office a call if you can prior to the match day. There was some football in action on Saturday morning as the under-21s played their final pre-season friendly. Chesant were the opponents, but they was easily dispatched in a 5-0 win from Matty Etherington's side. So let's take a look at those highlights. Good strikes there and two from Oscar Thorne and an assist. Other goals coming from Marley, Marshall, Miranda, Carl Bennett and Jake Hutchinson as the under-21s rounded out their pre-season with a win and good to see four different goal scorers in there as well. And they'll be wanting to take that goal scoring prowess into their first game next week. It's an away fixture against Peterborough United and that's on Tuesday the 15th and kickoff is at 2pm. Back to this evening's action then, and to wrap things up, we've got the thoughts from the training ground of how preparations have gone ahead of tonight's game. Tom, it was a bit of a false start on Saturday, but looking to get going again on Wednesday night. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it happens, and it? Well, I say it happens, it's, it's the first time I've, <laughs> I've actually come across it, but yeah, I mean, games get called off, don't they? It's part and parcel of you know, what we do, at times more so during the winter period, so... Bit unexpected, but you know, hey ho, we, we get on with it. Back on the training pitch and then preparing for tomorrow's game. How does that affect your preparation? Obviously, you've you've put everything into the first game of the season, and now that hasn't happened. How does that affect your Monday and Tuesday plans for the Wednesday game? No, I don't think it affects us at all. To be honest with you, I really don't. Um, say we're just as soon as that decision's been made that the game's been postponed. Uh, you know, all thoughts go towards Wednesday's game against Cardiff, which will be a, a really good game. Everyone's looking forward to it. So. Yeah, we'll brush that aside and we'll pick it back up when the game's, you know, rearranged. So, yeah, no, it doesn't affect preparation at all, to be honest with you. And we're going to Cardiff. It's a, it's a tough game against championship opposition, obviously, away from home as well. Uh, what, what, what are you expecting from, from Cardiff? Yeah, they'll, obviously, it's a great opportunity to play at a, you know, a great stadium against a great team, championship team in Cardiff. Um, yeah, the boys are relishing it. I think everyone around the club is relishing playing, you know, big teams is what you're, what you're in the game to do, play at the highest level possible. So... Yeah, no, if anything, it's, it's a great opportunity and everyone's looking forward to it. That's nearly it from us. We'll be getting our season underway this evening, hopefully with a win. If you're not in Cardiff, you can listen along on iFollow. Audio passes are just £2.50 and available from the club website. If you are in Cardiff, safe journeys back from uh, the game this evening or tomorrow if you're staying over. Enjoy the game. We'll be back on Tuesday evening. Next week with a pre-match show for the first home game of the new campaign. Don't forget to get your tickets for that one. Uh, until then, have a great week, whatever you're up to, weekend, and we'll see you very, very soon. Until then, it's goodbye for now.